Hello everyone, my name is Karan Sunil Pansare and I am an FIBCA student at Sayo College of Management Studies. Today, I am here to show you a game which is created by me and my team whose name is Zenith. The name of the game is Quizwiz and yes, this is a quiz game. We have created this game in a very basic way but with a few interesting features. Uh, we have used the C language for making this game and for coding purposes, we have used the Dave C++ IDE. And yes, it is a console based game. So without further ado, let's see the game now. So this is the whole coding part of our game. Now we have done it into four parts, but yeah, we are not here to see the main coding part. So let's see the game now. So this is the uh, first part of the game. Now if, uh, if you have to start the game, you can press any key to start it. So now it is asking your name must, must be at least of four characters. Means if your name is less than four characters, let's see if I enter any three letters. So now see the name is short so you have to enter your name again. So your name must be a minimum of 4 characters. Now if I enter my name that is of 5 characters. So yeah so we can proceed ahead. Now in the top you can see welcome current to quiz quiz and we have given some tips uh, before starting the game. Now in this game we have uh, input a total of 50 questions which are randomly selected by the game itself. Means uh, all the 50 questions are randomly selected and you will not see a question repeating itself again and again. Uh, in our game, there is a set of five questions each means after every five questions, the game will ask you if you want to continue the game or if you want to exit the game. So if you mean to continue the game, you can continue and you will not get the same set of questions or any of the same questions since it randomly selects the questions and uh, you will get four options for each of the questions A, B, C, D and whichever option you have to select, you have to press that particular key. You will get 10 seconds to answer each of the questions. Uh, and here we have given another feature, which uh, if suppose uh, you didn't answer your question in time. So the screen will go yellow. If uh, your answer is wrong, the screen will go red. And if your answer is right, the screen will go green. Let me show you that. So for starting the game, you can press any key. So yeah, these are the questions. Now you can see the stars appearing below. So each star represents time. So each star represents one second. So after every 10 stars, see the time is up. So it shows the yellow screen and then it will show the correct answer. Now again for this, uh, if suppose I select uh, the option D. So now this is the correct answer. So it shows green screen and below it shows right answer. Now for the third question, if I select any, let's say I select A. It is again the correct answer so it will show me the green screen and now uh, for the next question if I see uh, B so now the answer is wrong so it will show me the red screen and it will show me the correct answer below and for the last question select any option again it's the wrong answer so it will go red and then as I said you earlier after five questions it asks me if you want to continue the game or if you want to exit the game if you want to continue press enter and if you want to exit the game then press X now this is the result part. Now you can see these colors changing. So this is basically in the sequence in which I answered the questions. Now as I answered the first question was time out, the next two were right answers and the next two were wrong answers. So it the colors appeared in the same sequence as uh, I answered the particular questions. So this is also a type of feature uh, that we have put in this game. Uh, also, you can see about how many right answers you have answered, how many wrong answers you have answered and how many timeouts you have had. Then how much time it took to solve uh, the total amount of questions and the average time it took for you to solve each question. So uh, this is the game which is created by me and my team. If you have any suggestions related to this game, uh, please let us know and uh, thank you for watching.